You know, I mean, from all the time that we spent together, we both love a great cocktail. Um, the, the problem that we always shared and always talked about was just how inconsistent um, the cocktail space is. I always use the equation or the example that, uh, imagine your favorite bottle of wine, you open it up on this end of the bar and it's exactly what you're looking for and then someone else uncorks it from the opposite end of the bar and it literally is a different drink. I mean, that's what the cocktail space is constantly dealing with depending what bartender does it, the speed of the bartender, the amount of time the bartender has. Obviously on a busy night, they're not gonna stir the drink as well. They're, they're pouring quickly. So it's really the inconsistency sort of that drove us into wanting to get into the space and then ultimately to create the best cocktail um, anyone's ever had. I mean, that isn't that the goal? Yeah, well, and you know as well as I do, you know, you and I can make an amazing old fashioned at home with our own recipe. Um, but you put one too many drops of bitters, and often you get two two drops at a time in a single serving, and it ruins the whole drink. You know. Yeah, but I got I got to interrupt you because we used to think we made great old fashions at home. I mean, obviously, right. the barrel aging, the fact that we can deliver this cocktail at 80 proof, and because it's so smooth because of the barrel aging, and in the in the flavors and notes that come out of the Chardonnay barrel with the vanilla and the apple. I mean, there's just Okay, you're making me thirsty. Yeah, <laughs> the truth is, we used to think we could make the, the true. great old fashioned at home. Yeah, um, very true. Yeah. Give me an O! Give me an L! Give me a D! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you're probably gonna cut that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see.